A uh, few little facts. It's been proven that aquariums lower blood pressure and your stress levels, and so that's why I keep it in my room, because I'm a science major. A uh, person who studies fish is called an ichthyologist, which I, is fun to say, I think. Uh, goldfish have been kept as pets for thousands of plus years, so fish have been around for a long time. And uh, one thing, fish don't have eyelids, so they don't technically sleep, they just shut their brains down and daydream. So it's very nice, sometimes I'll catch my fish at night, just stare at them and they're just sitting there. Just sitting there. Um, I've had a tank for six years, uh, so let's see, I think it was junior year in high school. I was getting really tired of my room, so I decided to add a little life to it, and I'd always been fascinated with aquariums, so I started doing a little research and going to the local pet store and uh, started up a tank. I've had flatties, guppies, mollies, tetra, let's see what else. I've had algae eaters, snails, um, odos, and then let's see what's good. Yeah, I've raised about 80 fry, which is a baby fish. So purely by accident, but it was a lot of fun. Um, and I'll get into that as we get into the fish. All right, so what you'll need. First of all, this is my home tank. I have a 10 gallon at home back in Hot Springs. And then I have a five and a half here, just because it's easier to deal with in the dorm. And uh, like for Christmas break, I don't have to completely break down a tank and then remake it at home. Because if you do that, that really increases your chances of stressing fish. And again, I'll get into that. That's not a good thing to do. So I could just take my filter with me and fill up the tanks either way. So it's easier that way for transportation. Um, of course, you'll need a tank. You'll need gravel, and they recommend about a fourth of an inch of gravel at the bottom of your tank. And you can go to the pet store and find all sorts of gravel. You can get, or you can get sand if you want. Sand's a little messy, and it could get really bad algae. So I stayed away from sand, but you can also get little jewels for your uh, gravel if you want. Also, I found all these really cool fish tanks. You can see, like there's a human head for a beta. Uh, one thing you really can't see on here, but the tank with the beta has bubbles in it. That's actually not a really good tank for a fish. For a tank that size, bubbles can stress a fish just because of the constant motion. So I would recommend not getting that one first. But they also have toilet tanks if you just want to do that. Or they have, um, they have sink tanks too. You could go get sinks now that are tanks. And I also like, I like the bubble tank. It looks like Atlantis or something like that. Or a TV, you know, just watch your fish all day. All right, so you'll need a filter, a heater, and some light. A filter depends on the size of your tank. The sizes can go from, you know, that's my five and a half tank. You can get a little one gallon tank or even half a gallon if you want just one little goldfish or beta. All the way up to, uh, golly, you know, 200 gallons, which is huge. And you'll need a filter that's appropriate for each size of the tank. Um, my filter is for a 10 gallon tank, but it works. You can downgrade because the filters can just deal with that much water, 10 gallons of water, and keep it clean. A heater, um, I'm focusing on the strict, you know, uh, freshwater fish. Goldfish and betas are really nice. They're pretty easy fish to take care of, and you won't necessarily need a filter and a heater for them. You just need to make sure you keep your water clean and change it out. And so it's more simplified. I'm going to stick with kind of the regular tank just because there's a lot of rules. And so just simplified if you want to go to the betas and the goldfish. But a heater, a uh, tropical or freshwater fish, like about from 75 to 80 degrees temperature water, or water temperature. And, you know, like in the wintertime, my room gets very cold because it's on the opposite side of the house. You know, my room can get down to 65 degrees. And a tank will pick that up. And like fish can actually, they'll be put to sleep in cold temperatures. And I mean, like euthanize, that's a humane way to euthanize a fish, is to freeze them basically. So don't let your fish water, don't let your fish freeze. But also um, don't let it overheat because then they can overheat. Uh, and light, that's kind of what I have in my room, the, a little lamp light that I attach to a lamp I have in my room because I have the five and a half is actually a terrarium, not an aquarium, so I couldn't find a light to fit it. But most of them, you can find kits that'll give you your light, your tank, your filter, uh, 
your heater, they'll have thermo thermometers for you, they'll have um, starter kits to get your water right and some food. So the, I would definitely recommend getting the kits because they'll have everything you will need. Ooh, music. Okay, so setting up your tank, rinse everything. You would not believe how much dust is around us and how many chemicals that we're in contact with every day, including your products. And fish are very, very susceptible to being stressed and you're gonna hear that a lot. Stress is the main cause of a fish getting ill. So you wanna try to make sure you don't have any stressors and dirty, dusty, chemical water is the first way to stress your fish. So definitely rinse everything, any decorations that you have, uh, rinse the tank out, rinse your uh, gravel out. I get a, a colander like you put your pasta in and I'll just run that under the sink and make sure I get all the dust off of it. And um, put everything in, set it up like you would like it to be, uh, and then go ahead and put your water in. Now for the first time around, you'll go ahead and put your water in and let your tank sit for two to three days because there's actually um, like a microbiology ecosystem that needs to set up first in order to accommodate your fish. You know, good bacteria and good algae that uh, will keep your fish healthy. So it's a good idea and also gets your filter running, getting all of the chemicals out of your water and lets everything kind of settle down. Uh, if you plopped your fish into water that's straight out of the tap, it's really poisonous to them because it has chlorine, ammonia, nitrates, and all those things that cause diseases in fish. So two to three days is what I would recommend. So maintaining your tank, as I said, tap water is poisonous to fish, so uh, make sure that your water is clean, that it's not dirty. But also when you are, you'll have to do periodic water changes. And I recommend either every week or every other week you do a 25% water change. Because it just puts more new, it puts new water in there. But also when you put your new water in there, you're putting in all those chemicals that, I mean, we can deal with, but the fish are living in this stuff. So you can get little water neutralizers, which I have a few, this is my goodie kit. Right. Here's some right here, and I'll test around if you want. Um, this is about out. This you will see in most pet stores, but actually I learned this is not the best stuff to use if you're going to put your put tap water directly into your tank. This is supposed to directly neutralize tap water, but all it does is actually take out the chlorine. It doesn't account for the ammonia, ammonia and nitrates. And uh, like just recently, I had some trouble with my tank because um, I just learned that this stuff wasn't the best. I actually have some powder here that the fish store, and plus, use your uh, pet stores. They have tons of information and can usually recommend what you need. I'll go there if I'm having some troubles and we'll figure it out. Like in Hot Springs, I was having some troubles setting up my tank after I'd gotten back. So me and fish lady down at Petco got to be really good friends and we figured it all out. So it was great. But, um, this is actually stuff that I got at Pet Country here in Conway because, as I said, I was having trouble and I went to them to ask for help. And so I'll pass these around, but this actually uh, deals with chlorine, your ammonia, and also the pH of the water. 